Bach. Okay, so Curse Hollow, big map. Gonna see we have an Abathur as well. Game. Yeah. I mean, that game. is just... Oh, that's rough. With an Abathur, I would have definitely... That would have been my first ban on Curse Hollow, I, I would have thought. I do not want to play a big map against an Abathur. I do not want to do that. <laughs> Face roll, Bebacomp, new meta. Indeed, indeed. We are going to see the new meta coming out here. Just double tank and just some crazy melee damage. I mean, if they get stuck in and, and the... and um. If they get stuck into a team fight and they get a decent engage, I reckon they'll just cleave them down. Um, and Lili has a really good consistency in healing. So, could be good, man. It could be strong. Yeah, I mean, especially if you hit that... Uh, if she uh, lands that um, the blind, yeah. and then on top of that, you know, on top of that, she is hopefully, and I'm praying that she does this, is take the stun removal at level 16, and then at level 20, she's going to go Kung Fu Hustle. So she's going to be spamming spamming um, stun removal on her team, which is, I always think that that is the best way to play Lily. I mean, that's just so overpowered. It's like having a cleanse every second. It's just amazing. Mm -hmm. So you're not going to be able to get stuns out. The enemy team can't get slows, mm -hmm. can't get stuns. Now, I have actually just died. My Heroes of the Storm has crashed. Are you able to join Game in Progress? Uh, I have absolutely no idea. Let's give this a go. Let's hope. If not, it'll only take two seconds to restart. Yeah. I think you are. I think I should be able to. Hopefully. Fingers crossed. Oh, I still have the same UI. Wait, maybe I need to do it in-game. You have to go to, yeah, escape options. Interfaces. Oh, no, it's, it's coming up. UI created yeah. by Ali. Yeah, control one brings up the talents, control two, the damage oh. and the deaths, and the hero heroic should automatically come up on the left and Ooh, right. Ooh, this is fancy. It is, yeah. I want it to automatically follow people, but it can't do that. Uh, you can hold space to automatically follow somebody after you clicked on them. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay, yeah, apparently it says I'm in the Americas. I'm not. Let's log in. So we actually see on the mid lane, um, we see Zeratul and uh, Johanna. They're going to defend that mid lane, but we're definitely going to see Zeratul roaming. A hundred percent, we will see Zeratul roaming this game. Okay. So do you want to introduce uh, Kappa again whilst I'm loading in? And then I'll yes, introduce I shall one. introduce Kappa Pride. My boys, Kappa Pride, we got Xerox on the Lili. We got Blue Wild Gag. On the Tyrael, or Tyrone as I call him. We got Chilla on the Illidan, and we got Torf on the Raynor, and Rainius on the ETC. Excelente. So I am just catching up. Uh, I'll be in very, very shortly. But New Order of Bosses, we're probably going to have Nijo on. Uh, on the, like, Nijo's a team captain. He's probably going to be playing the Johanna. I'm just thinking off the top of my head. And we actually see Raynor getting caught out so early on here. Abathur on the back of Zeratu, and they're going to be able to pick up that kill fairly fast. So I think what happened there was Raynor was actually trying to um, rotate to that top lane and got caught by Zeratu, who was actually waiting in a bush invisible. Sneaky ninja Zeratu. And now we see Zeratu sitting in the bush, probably waiting for a gank to happen on that top lane. Tyrio is going to rotate back up to top here. And, um... Abathur's going to burrow down to bottom. So I'm just going to quickly introduce uh, New Order Boss. We're going to have Zello on the Rhaegar down bottom, who is getting harassed a little bit by the Ildin. Exact on that Abathur. Nijo, as I predicted, on the Johanna, their tank player. Inraki on the Zeratul, and Ben is going to be playing that. So we are seeing three top engage from ETC, but the Abathur on the back is dealing mad damage. Zeratul has to get out of there really fast. We're going to see a pull-in from Johanna. She's going to take harass from the turret. So if they can turn this around, passive proccing from Raynor. And Lili's coming in now. I don't think they're going to be able to pick up a kill from this. And actually, Zeratul engages there. That was not worth it. He is going to take too much poke from that. And they don't have a support at that top lane. But here we see four people on the top lane. And actually, surprisingly, Illidan's still on that bottom lane, and he's actually doing well. And Zeratul gets engaged when he jumps out again. Raynor dropping low from a turret hit, and a few hits from Valor as well. Um, 
And th there we're gonna see... Oh, and actually, we do see a death from Illidan. I did not catch that. I do not know how the Illidan died down there to a... But it's probably to the Abatha plus the Rhaegar. Abatha's actually going to channel the tribute. Ballsy play here from Exact, but it's going to pay off. They're it's not going to pay off. They're going to get it. And to be honest, I would have skipped that because they don't have a full team alive. But we do see Healing Ward um, coming out for the Lily, which I love. Um, yeah, he I mean, Healing Ward's still good. It can now be AoE down, but the fact that it has a health bar. Well, yeah, it helps it out a bit. Instead of just well, we're probably up. not going to see straight from Valor, so chances that it gets cleaved are pretty low. She places it right. Zeratul coming in behind Raynor, and Raynor's so unaware. Oh, uh, and he gets he knocked him. back. Zeratul dropping like We are going to see his kill here by Kappa Pride. Um, a great kill there, actually. Uh, I think Zeratul got a bit cocky on that one, to be honest with you. And yeah, that's what definitely. led to his demise. Johanna getting engaged on here in the mid lane, but... I mean, Raynor getting come pulled in, his passive is still up, so he procs. ETC on the top lane getting a bit of harassing. <laughs> but you can see how aggressive this... Um, this Johanna can be with the Abathur on the back. She just can't die. And down the bottom here... We have a Rhaegar versus a... Illidan. And Zeratul's down there, he's gonna get blown up! He does get blown up, that Illidan does not want to be in a fight by himself. He really just needs to wait for a support to be near him. I mean, in Rocky's rotations and movements, this entire game have been absolutely stellar. And he's gonna blow up the Raynor off the back there as well. That Zeratul play, just so good. Put the Abathur on him and he's able to do effectively what it wants. Yeah. Uh, Blue's gonna have to Elder and Blue Arg might even him. get caught out here. He does jump down, and there's the healing ward. That's going to be popping off a lot of heals. And he actually... That was a good blind there from Lily. Yeah, stop the three damage. The Illidan yeah. is engaged on the Rhaegar, but that Ghost Wolf's going to get him out of there pretty fast. And, um... Yep, so that's that's going to be that. But, we, I mean, the scores at the moment are 4-1. But that's looking better than last game, you know? Johanna's out of mana. Uh, Illidan, to back off oh, here. nearly got it. Oh, and it jumped over the wall. I can't believe I just saw that. That was a crazy play by the by the by the Zeratul there. That's absolutely insane. And they pick up a kill on Illidan. Oh, that was. I mean, he he's died three times now. I think it is. Yeah, three times. It's just so unfortunate. And in Raki Zeratul, you can see how comfortable he is on that hero. Just just dominating on it so far. He's done so much work. Uh, we. I mean, Lily's taking a hot here, and I don't know how many stacks she has. Oh, exact on there, Abatha. Gonna come in and try and channel the tribute, but the ETC's just gonna come in with the Illidan, potentially pick him off. Lily getting caught out! He is actually just gonna be able Zeratul to run away. Zeratul is just in the fight there. Johanna is gonna pull that Zeratul back in, and yeah, hopefully see a good amount of healing. There's the ult. From, uh, from, from Zeratul, Zeratul. Yeah. and Valor's on the Zeratul, uh, Valor's on the Illidan as well. Illidan's just struggling to save his life. We see the strafe really coming. He's fact. struggling to save her life as well, but Rhaegar does pick that kill up. And Tyrion is going to run away as well. Uh, we have ETC knocking the enemies back, and it does look like Tyrion and ETC go down here. So another bad engage for Kappa Pride, and it does look like. Um, New Order just want to finish these games early on. They just want to rush the rush down. Um, I mean, you say that, yeah. but it, the, their drafting competition has been mostly for that early to mid game. In, I mean, even last game they had the super late game with the Kale Fast. They they out they've been out drafting their opponents consistently. Yeah. To such a degree that uh, they're able to take these early game fights. I mean, Abathur's always an early game machine. Um, you couple that with the Zeratul roaming, and you're not gonna have, you're not gonna be able to feel safe anywhere on the map, really. And you are going to end up taking the boss. In in interesting here, actually. Yeah, we do see a boss being taken, but it could actually put them out of position. We don't have ults in yet, unfortunately, um, for Kappa Pride. And that ancestral healing able to save uh, Zalo. And Raynor does get taken out by the Valor there in a 1v1. And I was just about to say, interesting here, we actually see a Volve monstrosity from I mean, New Order. 
on a map like this, it's it's the most common pick. It's because of how big it is. I keep, oh, I keep saying that, but it really, really is. And the involved ones are able to pick up a lot of stuff. Oh, and they're going to take another stun. This ETC just got it so wrecked. Yeah, I mean, he got boss. hit by that root from the boss and then the hit by the stun and the Val is able to pick him up. So unlucky there. I feel bad for that guy. That I feels mean, bad, man. In the meantime, the Rhaegar plus Abathur plus Zeratul picked up the Lili in the mid lane. Oh, really? Oh. Yeah, and exact on that Abathur bot lane, he's facing off against <laughs> he the He is! Guy. Oh, and the hunt comes out! Oh, he's baiting he's him to the bombs! Still... Oh, oh my god, god he yes! What an insane play! <laughs> Abathur baited the Illidan into the bombs there. That's absolutely crazy. And Insane. Blew him up. <laughs> in one hit, he just got completely destroyed. He's not even gone for a bomb build. And he, he just, doesn't even. He no, he doesn't even have a bomb build. That is mean. That is cruel. That That's is some... making it into a top place. If I make yeah. it. <laughs> Terio is getting engaged on here, but he's able to jump out. The ult coming out from Lily gets gets ulted by the Zeratul. And ETC did try to channel his ult, but it's not going to happen because of the Johanna Bless shield. Reynolds passive proccing. Does get healed up by Lili. We still have Illidan and Tyrael alive. Um, and the consistency and heals are going to be coming out well, now. Another in over. Blew up the Rainer. He's fallen low. The Lili's dropping really, really low. Lili's just coming low. out. Trying to drop that, but Tyrael's going to fall Tyrael's off the back of that. explode now. Yeah. And it does look like. Oh, and Lili just gets taken out by Johanna. ETC jumping in. Disrupting the Johanna a little bit, but not much is going to come of that. They might be able to turn around and take this key. Mm -hmm. Maybe pick off the ETC. In fact, the Zeratul's just jumping in. And he's able to do all that damage, and he does. It's crazy. I mean, New Order boss is showing just Why? flawless execution. Oh, and we're going to see almost a pick from Illidan. And that, that was hunt. so unlucky not to land that Q. He just needed to, do, to land an auto attack. He didn't land an auto attack after his Q. So, and actually, we see a defensive build from Illidan here, don't we? Yeah, we do. His we first level standard. shields. Um, I would I have mean, liked to see the extra damage from Leap from an auto attack, but we're not going to see that, obviously. I mean, this is the absolute standard build. Illidan's already getting blown up as he is, and he's still taking a defensive build. So. I mean, I was, I was hoping to see that because of the double tank setup. And Abatha just going to town on this bottom lane. And this is what we were saying before. Um, so. Yeah, push coming out. I mean, Zeratul is, is stopping the, the uh, tribute being channeled out here. He's doing a good job of it as well. He, he and, had to expend his void ETC is not going to go in on that. <laughs> Unbelievable. Meanwhile, and Johanna solos the uh, Lily up top by the looks of things. He's almost got her. Lily with the Abathur. Gonna have to. The ring of Drown Rosie here. Can she out the damage? No, she cannot. Um, and the thing is, is that it, she's gonna be going quite oom in team fights because of that heal over uh, time that she picked instead of the reduced mana cost on Q. Um, and the thing that I like to do on Lily is take the reduced mana cost on Q if my team is very behind because we yeah, can see, we I mean, look at her stacks. She's only got twelve stacks. And that's just really not high enough. And a random ETC hole, he is just like rocking out, man. He doesn't even care. Yeah, just... uh, it's it's really unfortunate he blew that mosh pit. I mean, it could have been the turning of an engagement. Shella gets caught by Zeratul and blown up instantly by the Johanna Zeratul combo. Uh, Rhaegar slowing the rain or there. I think he still has passive to go. Passive proc there. And we have an engage to hopefully push them back. We have Lily coming in now. I wouldn't be surprised if she just ults this. Gonna have the healing ward drop down to hopefully turn heal this up. It's gonna get killed basically straight away from the healing ult from, But it's, she's instantly killed by the Rhaegar. Yeah, Raina not and able to survive through that. That feral one is gonna do a lot. Tyrael's getting blown off off the back here as well. And there's nothing that they can do exact. Look at him. He's just been an absolute ball on that Abathur. He's going to go and try and slap the Illidan. He's going to get killed before he he's is, able to do that. I mean, this Abathur's just in. He's just in the fight. He's, in the, he's on the base. I'm going to quickly look at his look, look at his stats. He is... Uh, I mean, he's not top of anything, but by God, has he been my MVP for this match. For sure. With that, that bot play, I, he is definitely my MVP as well. 
Hyperion's gonna come out here, but Johanna with that fantastic blessed shield able to stun out the EGC. But the turret has no minions to attack, so it's gonna be focusing. And here's a counter kill coming out for, for Kappa Pride. Can they, there's the hunt coming out. This is massive XP for Kappa Pride at the moment. But they don't have a great amount of lane push on their team. You say massive XP, but they're still two and a half levels behind, or even maybe three levels yeah. behind at this point. But if they're able before. to uh, to make another play like that, you could see a comeback. If they're able to make another play under the tower like that, you could see Chiller definitely... on the Illidan is uh, going to get caught out here by Chiller the... is in the enemy's face, and he gets caught and absolutely massacred by Zeratul. Yeah. The, with the Abatha hat, there was absolutely no way they're going to do anything. So to... unfortunate to see that. We actually see, what's really weird is we're seeing an offensive Rhaegar build. Um, I mean, yeah, the um, the Feral Heart, the extra mana regen, it, it did get nerfed, it's still good. Colossal Totem is great for chasing. They knew they had a slightly better draft, I think, in the early game. Feral yeah. Lunge is, I think, the best 13 talent to take on Rhaegar, regardless of what build you're doing. And it's so good, we saw it blow up Material and the Rainer on multiple occasions. Well, the trouble is with that is that you're actually getting rid of that massive amount of healing that your Q is going to be able to deal. Yeah, and yeah. The extra bonus to the primary yeah. target is... Uh, you, you and then also a lot of target. You have an Abathur hat on top of that. You have That's the shield true. from the Abathur. He doesn't necessarily up. need it in this composition. And we're going to see Kappa just take a tribute, but there's going to go an all-in. The Lily's going to get picked up here in the Zep by the Zeratul. Oh, Kappa's and the base push is getting the base, pushed yeah. hard. They need to get back quick. Tyrael backs. We do see it. Boss three the counter The is being absolutely shrek. I think the game will end here. The ult gets interrupted by Tyrael. Strafe by the Valor and Hyperion. Rain, they're going to get killed by that. Oh. Oh, yeah, the hunt. They land the kill. Up. The BM kill at the end there by Illidan. And that is going to be a 2-0 from New Order of Bosses. And i got to give it up to Kappa Pride. They did really try there, and those guys aren't really high ranked because this is an amateur league, so you can be whatever rank you want to join, and oh, yeah. and so you got to give it up to Kappa Pride. Well played there. They're still going to get another chance to come back into this. Yeah, they never um, gave up. They always went for those kills, but and you got to respect got it. That that was basically they got outdrafted by their opponents, and there's that's not really it. much can be done. Yeah, the main problem there was just the drafting picks were so brutal. And that's why you want to pick something. I mean, you saw the Zeratul first pick, right? I would have banned out. You really want to ban out Abathur as soon as you see a Zeratul pick. Hmm. Because that is just a horrible combo to face up against. 